Hey everybody, it's Raytana Sation. I got mail, I got a letter. Gonna open it to show you what I got. I got mail to show you what I got. Gonna open it and show you what I got in the mail. So yeah, I got a letter. That's all I've gotten so far since last time we had mail done. And this is from Chantel, who I know as Cartoon Chameleon. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh, look it. Oh my god. They're so cute. What do I want to do with them? I don't be afraid of that they would get ripped off. Well, I'm pretty pretty careful with my phone. Yeah. Just my baby. Where are my apples? Random thought of the day. I need a laminator. Laminators are cool. Okay, well, they don't want to cooperate with me right now, so I'll just have to do it later. So yeah. Tis short mail time, but totally worth it. Look at the gigantic eyeballs. Alrighty. So, um, I finished Devil's Angel. Um, I actually spell checked it for once. Usually I'm just like, oh, fuck it, I just want to post it. But for this one, I was like, I think I need to spell check it. So, I did, and I posted it. It's in three parts. I didn't count how many words it actually is, so I don't know if, uh, if it has more words than I fell in love with the murderer. That does mean that I am going to, uh, start working on playing with fire again um, probably tomorrow or later tonight um, but I know I posted like a 10 second video that I took from my phone that was supposed to say super ultra mega charm bracelet of doom but it cut out the first seconds of audio so here's my super mega wait super ultra mega charm bra bracelet of doom and every charm that's on this bracelet where is the clasp there we go Every charm that's on this bracelet has something to do with me! Like, my personality. But I forget them, so I wrote them down. We have a button. This symbolizes my creativity. This pink leaf symbolizes my obsession with fantasy worlds. You know, things not being realistic and wanting this and this and this to happen and having just dreams that you know certain things will happen that aren't possible and we got some wings here too they um they're going the exact same way there's two of them um, basically they both mean freedom um, the fact that I live my own life and I'm free and I'm not a slave to anything like I don't know fashion or telling people things that I don't mean. I'm honest. This rose symbolizes love for nature, like animals and plants and stuff. It's pretty. This big gear represents my brain power uh, and the fact that I do like to learn. I do like to use, um, you know, brain power! I love it. This is freeze pop, everybody. Let's see if I can even remember the words. This is fun to do on Rock Band. Had a good idea the other day. Gonna start a new band and we'll learn to play. Yeah, it'll be the best. Looking for a record at the mall. Well, here's the thing we'll be called Brain Power. Brain Power! 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 I was drunk 
When I thought it up, it was kinda dumb No, maybe not the best It is not a good band name No one should have used that very same Brain power that I'd mentioned before Brain power! Brain power! Sorry, that was gonna bother me if I hadn't looked it up. <laughs> okay, so yeah, brain power. So this itty bitty little gear right here symbolizes my subconscious. Um, it means that there are certain things in the back of my brain that are working without my knowledge. Um, and you know, it's so small that I can't access what's in that subconscious. You know, they always say that humans subconsciously know all these things that they don't actually know, so that's what that is. This koala, this purple and blue koala, represents my love for cute things. Hey. My playing with fire bottle cap thing. This was one of my, um, my trial, trial and error ones. So I kept it, I didn't sell it. And of course, it's from page 20. Um, nom, nom, nom. <laughs> and that represents my obsession with Zader and Yahweh alike. This is my safety pin. This means that I am cautious. It means that I don't just jump to things that are possibly going to get me into trouble or in, in, into danger. I, you know, weigh my options and I go, well, wait, that doesn't seem like a very good idea. This spike represents my manic depression, meaning that even though it's pretty and shiny, if you're like, gosh, it hurts. So it's like, meh, meh, you know. This small lock represents my secrets that I keep locked away from most people, which most, uh, most of those secrets were shared on the um, Into My Mind documentary, for lack of a better word. This big lock is the lock where my heart is kept. It's big because I have a big heart, and there's a lot of love in there. This K, of course, represents the first letter of my name, Kara, so yeah. This tiny golden heart right here has a little green jewel hanging off of this. This represents my emotions. It's the small part of my heart that will definitely um, express certain emotions, and the green jewel is, I hate to say it, but Scorpios can tend to get very jealous very easily, so it takes a lot of um, self-control to keep that jealousy in check. This big open heart represents all of my love. All of my love. All of my love. Yeah, so it's open because my love is open to anybody who um, is willing to, like, who, who needs it and who is willing to reach out for it and admit that they need, you know, like, like people who hate, you know. I mean, I hate as much as anybody else can hate, but there are people who hate certain things for the wrong reasons, you know, like, you know, if it's a bully that just needs to be loved, here I am. This closed heart, um, represents my kindness. It's, a uh, very full. I'm willing to share my kindness with anybody who wishes to want kindness, which most normal people do. This key This key is actually a lost key because there's no lock that matches it on the bracelet. This is the key to my soul. Wherever that lock is holds my soul. And so whoever has that lock, I bring the key, and guess what? You have my soul. But for now, it's just mine. This key has a little heart on it. This key is the key to an, uh, is the lost key to another missing lock to all of my hate. The people who, um, you know... What? People keep texting me, doing stuff. So it's a lost key to my hate. Um, 
it's been a long time since I've actually expressed true hate about something, well, about, you know, a certain people, except for, you know, obviously Brian, but whoever invokes my wrath is the one who holds the lock that I open with this key. I force it open, and voila, you have endured my hate. And as kind as, um, as I am to people, um, Scorpios can be really bitchy, and when you make us mad, like, it, t it takes kind of a lot to push me over the edge when I'm on my, my medication and I'm the true me, but when, you know, you get me in a true rage, you don't want to mess with me. <laughs> my friends and past friends have told me that I'm really scary when I'm angry, so yeah, but hopefully you guys won't need to see that. <laughs> This black key is the key to the small lock. It's the key to my secrets. So if I wish, I will open up the lock that I have and share my secrets with you. This silver key is the key to the lock that holds my heart. So if I want to give my heart to you, if I want to give you my love, I shall open up the lock and give you my love. This is a little cylindrical cage. This represents my life, and I'll tell you why. A lot of times I feel like I'm trapped, but at the same time, notice that there are, like, no corners. I don't feel myself cornered often in life anymore. Um, it's also a very pretty cage, so it's like, even though I'm, um, you know, trapped within life, you know, obviously, um, life uh, poses a lot of problems and tests you and everything, so even though I'm locked away, I can at least enjoy how pretty it is on the inside of this cage and the fact that because there are no, no corners I feel a little more content. This little charm fully represents my jealousy. Like I said, jealousy can be a, a big issue and I have to um, express a lot of self-control to contain it. So that's where all my jealousy goes is into the little green orb in the middle of this charm. This dragon represents my strength, because I have a lot of um, strength within me, whether uh, I like to admit it or not, um, or whether I believe it or not. Um, I've survived quite a lot of things from family, ex-friends, and just people in general. Um, I've survived a lot of situations, and I wouldn't be here if it wasn't for my strength. These are little raindrop uh, charms. The blue one expresses pain. like. You know, people um, as, um, associate uh, rain with misery and pain, um, and also this crying. So, of course, even though um, I am happy, I do feel quite a bit of pain, and that's why it's big. And the purple is attached to the pain, the pain raindrop, because the purple represents my acceptance. At the end of my pain, at the end of any of my sadness, there's always going to be that acceptance. And that's also another one of my strengths, is that after it hurts, you know, even if there's not a conclusion, even though if there's not a rainbow, there's still, well, it's over, and there's nothing that I can do about it. This is a little fox. No, it's not a cat, it's a fox. This um, um, represents my love for animals. I know I had a love for nature, this is love for animals. This apple represents the fact that I am a vegetarian. This is a bell. This represents my happiness. Is It's not too big, so when it jingles it's not too annoying, so it's not like in your face. Um, so it's small, it's gold, it's a little rusted, but that just means that it's been used a lot. So that's my happiness, because bells are cheerful, I think. For those of you who hear my Skype noises, I'm invisible, and it's not because I don't want to talk to people. It's just, I find it really hard to talk and do stuff at the same time, and I know the reason why I got on the Skype in the first place was so that I could talk and work at the same time, but I just, I found it really kind of distracting, so don't think it's you, okay? It's not you. So this square holds my memories. It's like a picture frame, and I glued um, little uh, screens over it. So my memories, the bad ones, 
Mora. Oh, Mora, so. So, this is where I like my bad memories to go. Is they'll go into the frame, and they'll go through the cage, but they won't be able to get out. So, I have my bad memories here so that I can just go ahead and enjoy my good memories. Hopefully that having this with me will um, encourage me to start thinking more happy thoughts. This little jewel right here represents um, sweetness. Uh, it's like, it looks like kind of, you know, rock candy, sugar, sugar candy, and it's pink, my favorite color. I am very, you know, I'm very, very kind. I've gotten a lot of people who say that I'm like the nicest person that they've ever met and I've had people call me their personal sunshine and such. Of course, it's when I'm me that I'm like that. Um, so this basically, it fuels, and it's big too, so it fuels my desire to be kind to people, um, even to people who just don't want to be kind back, you know? Now, I don't have a religion, and everybody should know that, but that doesn't mean that I don't believe in something, blah, 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 blah. So here's a cross. It's rather old. I've had it for a long time. This represents possible faith and the fact that I've, w I've gone from Christian to atheist to agnostic and to um, no religion whatsoever um, because of experiences that um, made me do sort of believe that maybe there's something out there that you would uh, would call a god. Of course, we don't know what it is, and so it's basically not that I don't believe in God, it's that I don't believe in having a religion. So this is, you know, the possible faith that I hold. This cross represents conclusion. Whether it's faith, or whether it's just finding out something that you've always wanted to know, this is the conclusion that you get from this. These next two um, charms can be sort of confusing because uh, they actually have a lot of meanings um, on their own. This is a, a fleur, fleur de lis. It's French. It's the French symbol for royalty. But it can also mean like it's meant like power and it's used on um, uh, family crests and stuff like that. I sort of count this fleur de lis, fleur de lis, not de, de, um, like the power of my independence, the fact that um, I hold my independence so closely to me and nobody can break it and oftentimes because I'm so independent it makes people, you know, offended. That's just the society that we live in is apparently we're not allowed to be independent anymore. Um, so as long as I keep the power of my independence then I won't become a slave to what our freaking world is coming to. Last but not least. It's a fleur de lis within a disc, within a circle. This, I feel, represents my power of comfort, I guess. Comfort in myself. It's in the circle, but I have to keep expanding that circle, stepping out of my comfort zone, which I'm, I've am i become rather good at stepping out of my comfort zone. I still got a couple of issues, but yeah. Fleur de lis, fleur de lis, le croissant, le croissant. Wait, la croissant? No, because it'd be croissant. So yeah, le croissant. I'm pretty sure croissant is masculine, right? Fuck French! Thought I'd share my charm bracelet with you because the um, mail time was so short. Now I have some other things to do, including more of the scary challenge accepted because now there are uh, like videos and stuff and that I need to look at and whatnot. So yeah, uh, make sure to subscribe, spread the word of awesome, become a Raytonite, and don't forget to um, visit my official website. The link is in the description. If you guys read descriptions, people don't read descriptions for some reason. And I'm like, why? If you have a question, it's probably answered in the description. Blah, 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 blah. So, yeah. Okay. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye. Where are my apples?